Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video we're here for Wistoria Wand and Sword episode 4. Last week, because of the Olympics, we had a break. And uh, so now we are back. But last episode, Will met uh, the Watcher girl. Sorry, I for whatever reason only remember, remember her name as the Watcher. Uh, we'll probably get it again in this episode if we see her. But um, yeah, she was watching and looking out for good prospects as there is supposedly a big war uh, coming. And uh, the people up in the tower are looking for more people to help them fight this war and so she ended up finding will and suggesting him one of the guys the uh i believe the wind guy uh was on board with it the uh, other two were absolutely not on board with it and obviously uh, elfaria had nothing to say but she was totally on board with it as well uh, and just overall the action last episode was so good because Will was fighting a monster that if you touched you would turn to ice immediately everything that was touching it so he had to use these bombs and he put those to use and took down this giant I believe it was called like a Rex or something like that I forget the full name of it but that was epic and last episode was so cool we got our first look into the Magia Vonder up at the top of the tower which was really really sick as well the show's been super entertaining so far so I'm excited to see where we go now that we are back from break but per usual feel free to check out the patreon and discord links are in the description below as far as this as far as the discord goes we talk about current anime past anime current manga past manga and have non-anime conversations as well and as far as the patreon goes you get exclusives and uncuts to all my reactions so feel free to check out either of those of your own will now without further ado let's hop straight into a story of one and sword episode four that's crazy that is so many credits and we've seen from some of the monsters that will kills there are only like four credits and some pretty those are some pretty powerful ones too oh i love the sound work there for our magic so are these like testing dummies or something they sure are completely messing them up 9889 credits wait isn't that enough uh, but they literally said 7800 is what he said right or 7200 that is the number or of the 12,000 wouldn't that mean that Shion has enough that is the number required for a student to advance to the upper institute oh okay so you have to have those credits then you go to the upper institute and then you pass through that upper institute to become a Magia Vonder gotcha she's got 7300 and 7340 nice Will, they, they're making Will carry around a staff or wand I mean not staff He's literally gonna punch it. He's gonna completely knock it down. Ow. He definitely could punch it. Whoa, some new characters here. Well, that's sick looking. Uh, wow, they're completely mopping these bots. <laughs> He's just picking it up. <laughs> wow, that was crazy. Owen Zaus, Liana, Wignall. They both have 10k credits. Wow. Got another ice magic guy here. Cool little rose he's got here on his chest. Are those gonna freeze the entire thing? Whoa. Yeah, this is gonna freeze over the entire thing. <laughs> That's so sick. Damn, he just took out so many of them. Time, the time for revels already draws near. So it seems like they're all friends. Uh, oh, never mind. Maybe they're like a, it's like a rival situation. Quick. <laughs> Just absolutely incinerated it. Okay, yeah, they're not friends. They, uh, they seem like rivals. Ah, uh, Miss Perfect and the Elf Master Wignall. Okay, so they're all going to the Upper Institute. Oh, well, no. The, the one guy, uh, Julius here, said he's uh, going to war. He's declaring intent for war. 5,400, huh? <laughs> I love Kiki so much. Uh, oh, God. We got another asshole. You see, at least he's not like Shion, where she Shion might be strong, but when push came to shove, Shion couldn't do anything. This guy can probably fight a lot. <laughs> I would imagine he actually has the strength to back up all that talk. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying Shion isn't strong. He's clearly above average strength, but at the same time, Will had to save his life. 
And yet he still tried talking trash to him. Oh god, hang on. I want to read everything that everybody's saying, but there's... <laughs> two different conversations going on at once. I've already given up on that. I'm more focused on the duel. The duel duel. The rumor is that the elf faction is prioritizing those who rank highly in magic craft while advancing to the upper institute. Okay, yeah. Read that. Elves are really conscious of only associating with other elves, so I don't know. There's a precedent for a student being scouted and ascending to the tower on the top spot. Oh, or his tower on the spot. I'm gonna make up for everything I messed up in writing lessons. So they're all out for blood. Yikes. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> ま、ドーナツ。ま、ステリアツのは引き入る4大派閥。うん。だ。who scouted well? Hmm. Well, you are running out of time, brother. You might as well just give it, give it a shot. Even if people are gonna look down on you, say awful shit, you might as well just try. As <laughs> me, what else can you really do? Oh, he tried to join when they were second years. Yikes! God, the pre the prejudice against magic in this place is awful. When really. I guess maybe only the Magia Vander know, because they were talking about it last episode about how there's a war coming. You really, if you if you got a fight to save your lives, you just shouldn't be discriminating on who you have fight, <laughs> to be honest. But I guess the, the average person isn't going to know or care about that. The absolute worst in history is what it's known as. Wow. Still traumatized from it. Wow. Where is she out there? A barrier's been cast here. A sound dampening barrier. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. Well, down go those barriers, I guess. <laughs> Kiki's my favorite character in this show. What? A hidden stairway inside of somebody's locker? What? They're betting down here? Wow, they're running a betting ring down here. That's crazy. You should just enter and then bet on yourself and beat everybody's asses. Is that Xion down here? Oh my god. How did they even build this in the school? How on earth did nobody notice this entire underground place being built inside of a locker? I <laughs> just stop that away real quick. It's a greater question is why are you here? It's a great question, why are you here, Xion? Shut up! <laughs> oh my god. No, those are definitely thoughts that are crossing his mind. Those are most definitely things he's thinking about. Uh, almost certainly. <laughs> he most definitely is. Are we sure about that? <laughs> oh, she, she didn't even listen to a single second of his explanation. As soon as he started rambling, she just dipped. <laughs> she had no... Did not want to hear about it at all. Oh, he's working a part-time job. <laughs> Crystal for monitoring Will. <gasps> yes! We get to get Kiki backstory. Kiki, the reason I gave Kiki to Will because that boy is always acting recklessly, of course. If he doesn't at least have a talented familiar with him, I wouldn't feel comfortable watching him go into the dungeon. And that incident on the sixth floor the other day, if Kiki's crystal hadn't been connected to mine, I wouldn't have been able to see 
That was a slip of the tongue. Please forget about it. Wagner Norgram. So yeah, that crystal on Kiki's forehead is is a connection for him. That's how he's been watching Will uh, over the first couple episodes. Uh, dwarves, short in stature with short limbs. Also, they reek of sweat. What else is there to know? They're deft with their hands and they have insane physical strength. You fool, if one has magic, one doesn't need any of that. A certain mage who believes in the absolute rule of magic. Hmm. Oh, he's out here with the dwarves. Uh, uh, so this man is working a newspaper boy job and a tavern job at night. Uh, wow, they literally just brought up exactly what I said. <laughs> oh, his roommate works here too. Oh my god. Oh, he, oh, so Rossi doesn't work here. He asked Rossi to work with him. Oh no. Oh, god. thanks, guys. Really didn't need that. <laughs> It just gave him a lot of extra work. I mean, I don't think he has much of a choice. Yeah, they're gonna get extra angry when they see Will here. Man, so this guy is worse than Shion to a certain degree. Shion saw himself get his ass beat, uh, and then Will save his life, and now he's like, he definitely does not antagonize Will anywhere near as much. He has kind of realized his place to a certain extent, but this guy, yikes. This guy's much worse. Why would you come here if you knew you were just what? Like, why? Why would you come here? Even if all the other taverns are closed and you hate dwarves so much, why would you come here? Why? I'm going to hear from another world. Oh. Yeah, definitely seems to be the case. Shows the world in a microcosm, huh? God, this OST here is terrifying. Oh god, Will about to beat their asses. Is he actually about to do something? Uh... And the culmination of the dwarves' wisdom. Yeah, it seems like they struggle just to get the, like, bare necessities for food and whatnot. Oh god. Will didn't even flinch. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> in an instant! That was so fast! He took them and slammed them to the ground instantly. Whoa! Oh my god! Hey, dwarves, you guys might want to get out of here. 
Oh god, yeah, he's just making him fall wherever he lands. Is he gonna freeze the dwarves, dude? The other dwarves need to get the hell out of here. Oh god. Yeah, are you gonna try and kill him? <laughs> Not even a shred of fear in his face. He wants to beat him at the magic festival. Yeah, he wants to beat him at the magic festival in front of people. He thinks because he will still isn't showing fear and that's pissing him off. It's pissing him off that will is so straight faced. Yeah. All right. seems like we got our upcoming arc. Wow. <laughs> He's seriously angry. That's all Will wants if he wins. Wow. Will's not asking for much here. Great episode. That was really good. That was a great end to that episode and it set up the next arc. Great. Great episode. Man, I'm very excited to see where this next arc goes now. Will is, uh,. Not particularly happy with Julia's here, and I imagine Will is gonna get his get back. It's kind of funny because Will easily broke out of the ice that was holding his arms. I think he was literally just letting Julius do that to him and just showing him that he didn't fear him at all. Uh, so this next arc is gonna be crazy. Uh, we'll see how this ends up going now. My biggest question is why the hell is Julius? I, I feel like Julius just came here to mess with people. I feel like that was all he did because he said all the other taverns are closed. Why would you go to one of, with, that has a uh, people that you hate? I guess if you can go there to, since uh, uh, elves and or ma people who can use magic are in such higher standing in this world, you could just go there to flaunt your strength in front of them at the end of the day. Great episode though. I don't think I have much else to say. We'll see Julius vs. Will here in the next upcoming episodes, which I'm super excited to see. But I think that is going to wrap it up for my action to Wisteria Wand and Sword episode uh, four. Hope you guys did enjoy and I hope you all have a good day.